Hello watch fans, birth year watch is here and this is a terrible thing to buy for a birth year watch. That's for us because we can't really date when this was from. We've said circa 78 because things tended to uh, become digital after that but we've got a mechanical one tenth of a second president stopwatch and this is new old stock. The case absolutely perfect the bow still tight, everything working as you see. And when they say one tenth of a second, the movement in this actually beats every uh, other tenth of a second, tw uh, five times um, a second. So in order to get it to read one tenths, it goes around the dial twice. So at first, at the moment, it's reading the white numbers. So it's gonna come around to 30. Then this counter here is going to move into the black. And now it's down 32, 34, 35, 36. That way you can get an accurate one tenth of a second. Good solid clip and reset and go again. No flyback feature. So if you press it now, it won't stop the movement. You need to stop and reset. Now, the movement comes out from the front. There is a small little cutaway here to take this plastic part of the bezel or the plastic bezel off, remove the movement from the front. We haven't done that because there is every chance that we just make a small mark. And when the watch is this good, why? why? Just to see what movement's in there. Could be something really nice. It says seven dual movement on the front. That could be anything from Hoya, uh, we don't know. We haven't opened it. No need. This is not bought as a massive investment. This is bought on condition and bought because it looks quite cool. If you'd like to see more on this, click on the link in the pinned comment. Uh, if you want to guess the price of this, I'd suggest doing that quite quickly because I'm going to make a prediction that one of our previous customers, I'm not sure which one, but one of them is going to go, do you know, that's not a lot of money for that. I'm going to buy that because it's not a lot of money to a lot of people, this. And it's certainly a fun, interesting and quite cool thing to own. Thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing if you like more cool vintage timepieces.